to uh, take in some shade if you need to. We'll, we'll be here just a few minutes, but I, you know, in case you're hot. Matter of fact, yesterday, I was not here yesterday, but yesterday apparently it was 109 degrees up here. Oh, wow. So when we do get in the house, I'm sure it'll be very warm. Uh, there is no air conditioning. Hearst never had air conditioning. However, we do cool off in the, in the evening, so I'm sure Hearst had windows open. We do not do that because we are a house museum, and what you will see today is all our original collection. So, the home was built by William Randolph Hearst. Uh, he was a very successful publisher. That's how he continued the fortune. He owned about 26 newspapers, 14 magazines, and nine radio stations. So what Hearst had, William Randolph Hearst, he had power, power in the press. He's uh, inviting less than 20 people up here at a time, less than 20 people. And the reason I'm bringing that up is because today we will be looking at the second largest historical home in America. The largest is the Biltmore located in North Carolina, the Vanderbilt home, but this is the second largest. Hearst started building up here in 1919 at a cost of a little under $10 million. That does include the three cottages, as well as the main house and the collection inside, all under $10 million. This was a 28-year project. He tells his architect, Julia Morgan, can you take this job? It's only going to take about three years to finish it. 28 years later of Hearst changing his mind, it's still unfinished. So when you come out in the gardens a little bit later and walk around the building, you're going to notice a lot of unfinished you know, concrete. And again, his first five sons said this, if dad lived another 20 years, this place would be double the size, but still unfinished. I have to agree with that. Yeah. Now, the main house was inspired by a cathedral that he saw in Ronda, Spain. Oh. He adds a second bell tower. There's 36 Carillon bells in total. All of the buildings up here are still reinforced poured concrete. Uh, we, uh, this home is actually built on top of the San Simeon fault line. We have a lot of earthquakes. We had a big earthquake uh, in 2003. Uh, it was a 6.5, and the uh, epicenter was just two miles from here. We did evacuate everyone off the hilltop that day, but we were able to open up for tours the next morning. So we had no structural damage, and the, earth, uh, the architect was known for for her building. So, um, Hearst is also a collector. Not only a publisher, he's a collector. He starts collecting when he was 10 years old. And um, all a European collection of mainly 15th to 17th century is filling the home. Things that he wants on the front of the facade, for example, see the hairy, scary wild men guarding the entrance, kind of the more yellow uh, s uh, statues. And the dawn and child above the entry, they're between six and eight hundred year old Spanish pieces. So Hearst wants more to the uh, outer facade, so he has his craftsmen reproduce the other stonework, the more lighter or gray stonework in the backyard. So think of Hearst Castle as a giant jigsaw puzzle. Uh, again, he's, he's collecting these items, he stores them away. When he starts to build, if he runs short, he has his uh, craftsmen reproduce some items. We are looking at the front door. We no longer uh, use that front door. There's some mosaic flooring uh, in there. It's about 18 and 1900 years old from the, the port of Rome, Ostia port of Rome. So we'll see that when we get inside. Now, before we go inside, any questions or comments? Uh, we're about three miles to the water from here. All the land you came up on on the bus is still Hearst property. The original land purchased by his father, George Hearst. He was that true pioneer. That's how the Hearst fortune was started. He came out here, bought 250,000 acres for a little under 70 cents an acre. So mom and dad, or George and Phoebe, built their house down below. You passed that on the bus when you came up here today. Now we're gonna take a side entrance into the home. Uh, if you step this way, there's 